Hi everyone, welcome back. I wanted to talk about solubilizers and emulsifiers when making your skincare products. I get asked a lot of questions about these two ingredients. So I'm just going to um, talk about them and hopefully shed some light. So let's jump right in. And if this is your first time stopping by, my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos. So getting started, what is a solubilizer? So basically it's an ingredient that's going to help you blend small amounts of oils, like your essential oils, fragrance oils. So an example would be if you made a maybe fragrance mist or body mist and you wanted to combine your essential oils or fragrance oils in your water, you would need a solubilizer so that everything would blend right in. So there are many types of solubilizers on the market. I would say do your research and decide uh, which one works best for you. Uh, polysorbates, there are so many controversies around polysorbates, but polysorbate 20 is one of the most common ones to use. I personally um, like more of a natural solubilizer when I make my own products. I like Polish Sugar uh, Molse D9. That is one of the favorite ones. Um, that I like to use when I make my products. So typically, how would you use a solubilizer? Depending on which solubilizer you decide to use, just follow the supplier directions. They usually will have it on their website when you purchase. Um, but for me, when I use the uh, Poly Sugar Molse uh, solubilizer, sometimes I add it directly into my um, water mixture. Um, some because it is water soluble um, that's typically how I add it once I have my uh, mixture ready I will just add the amount it ranges from 2 to 8 percent um, usage rate um, depending on the type of product you are making um, there was um, some cloudiness after I finished making my product but after about 24 to 48 hours uh, my product had cleared up so it really depends on your solubilizer the ones that you're using and same thing, I was making a foaming face wash. So I added all my oils, um, my essential oil blend, added that into my oil mix, added it into my water, and then I added in the solubilizer here so that the oils could mix well into the water. So when using a solubilizer, the goal is to blend your oil into your water so that way there's no oil floating on top of your product. And it also makes it easier when using your product. You don't have to shake up your product every time you want to use it. So using a solubilizer really helps when making your product. So moving on to emulsifiers, it's basically an ingredient that you use to combine your water and oil um, together so that way there's no separation of that product. It's commonly used in your creams, your lotions, shampoos, your body washes, face washes and many more um, products. Um, you cannot make a lotion or cream without some type of emulsifier otherwise you're going to have uh, separation of that product um, there are so many different types um, of emulsifiers out there naturally derived and synthetic um, derived as well so here are some different types of emulsifiers um, i have used some of them on this list i've used the emulsifying wax nf uh, sunflower lecithin i've used uh, ruta Molse, scg olive m1000 um, it all comes down to what you're looking for in your final product. They all have different um, feel, um, consistency. Um, so of course you have to do your research, test out these emulsifiers in your product um, before um, you decide on which one to use. So how do you use your emulsifier? So all you need to do um, with your waxes, just melt it down during the oil phase you're just going to add your wax to all all your oil soluble ingredients 
heat it up till it's completely melted and then you're going to add it to your water ingredients um, combine it um, using a stick blender so that way um, your final product is well blended well mixed and there's no separation with sunflower lecithin you might have to heat it up slightly along with um, the rest of your oils just to help it blend well into your uh, final product um, but that's also another good um, emulsifier um, you cannot use it on its own in like a lotion or cream so of course as always do your research on both emulsifiers solubilizers and make the best choice um, that works for you but i hope you found this uh, video helpful useful as always please don't forget to subscribe please turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos and please like this video as well because that really helps me out and i'll see you in the next video bye